this one is a weird. Yeah, I think I'll just hold it like this. I'm going to put my fingers up on these ears so I hit my fingers instead of the platform of the mess. That'll teach me. Get a nice. A lot of the reasons why I'm doing this too isn't so I feel where I'm going to hit. It's so that I, I'm making a smooth spot on my hammer stone. You see how pitted that is and where I just was brushing it, smoothing it out? Well, those pits... If you hit in a really dented area, you know, you can get a bad release. So I'm doing that to smooth it out and make a good contact area. Oh, I overstruck it. Hmm. I try not to get frazzled, but... there. Let's see what we can't do about this. That was a really good platform. I should have stuck that against my leg and just hit that. That would have really gone great if I would have hit that right. That's frustrating. Anytime you're swinging at, at, you know, you're not doing punch work, you're doing direct percussion on these things, that's just, that's just what happens. You can miss and you can hit and some days you can really hit them consistent. Let's actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'll demonstrate a really quick punch fix on this side and you guys will get to see something else. I was wanting to do it all with a hammerstone, but... I'm going to show you something else really fast. So. Now I can work in this base and set up another platform. I don't have to worry about ears because I can get in there and hit anything with a punch. about right. We're going to grind our tip. Grind our platform. You can just use an, a leather anvil, or you can just use a bone anvil. I'm going to use the bone, put a little bit more energy into my flake. Mm. See, now I have to find a punch. Better turn this off and...
Okay. I'm going to use this moose tine as a punch and the antler anvil. I'm going to strike it. I'm going to use a, another moose antler to strike it. I'm going to hold the point with leather laterally. I'm going to put the punch in between my knee here. So you can see this. I have a teeny little notch in this punch that sits on the... It's just a very slight notch. It just sits there. I'm going to get this right at that angle that feels good. I'm gonna, there's going to be a little bit of movement to help break it free. I'm going to push the point into that antler anvil. Just apply a teeny bit of pressure to the punch with my right leg. Get it right to that point. It's going to break off and strike it. Nice flute. We'll pick off that little area that And it's really nice taper that way. Now we'll trim that up and do some edge work and be done. There's a pretty good thickness. Um pretty good hafting area right now. It's not paper thin, but I can do a little bit of pressure and modify that. And f the rest of this is pretty ordinary. I can do a little blending with a hammer stone in, in a thick area. I can use the ishi stick to do some pressure, but we're pretty much done. This is already running really long. This is like an hour. So I'll just finish up the rest of the edge work, turn off the camera, and and show you what the finished thing looks like. Okay, I just finished doing the uh, the retouch. I just did a little pressure flaking on it, and did a little put a little pressure flake on the base to bring in that hafting area. So my base is pretty thin. That Clovis is a little bit on the meaty side, but fine. You know, it's a little bit. It's a nice stout one. Um, one side antler fluted. And then one side hammerstone fluted. Mm, serviceable. You know, nothing too special. Okay, I hope this turns out and, and you can see the edges and, and take a little bit from this demonstration. In the future, if I do some more videos, hopefully I'll get better at editing and everything like that. Alright, thanks for watching.